In this video, we will introduce the labor market and labor market equilibrium. Let's start with the labor demand curve. Labor demand is the quantity of labor that businesses choose to hire at given wages. The quantity of labor is measured possibly by the number of hours a business hires or the number of full-time employees that they decide to hire. We make the behavioral assumption that businesses choose the quantity of labor in order to maximize their profits. Given wages and given other factors such as the prices of their products, labor productivity, and technology. The law of labor demand states that as the wage increases, the quantity of labor demanded by firms decreases. Labor supply is the quantity of labor that individuals choose to work at given wages. The quantity of labor that an individual could be measured by hours, or at the macroeconomic level, it could be measured by the number of people choosing to work. The law of labor supply states that as the wage increases, the quantity of labor supplied increases. We bring these two together for labor market equilibrium. It is the pair of the quantity of labor and wage where the quantity of labor supplied, the decisions by households to work, is equal to the quantity of labor demanded, the decision by businesses to hire. This represents the wage and the level of employment that we would expect in the long run in a market absent of government intervention.